Hey everyone, it's Glenn with ERD, you know, the guy in the video. And today we're going to talk about the shrinking resistor. So this series is about all the changes that ERD has experienced in the 30 years since it's been repairing electronics. So we've already talked about transistors and tubes and all the shrinking in that and processors and RAM. So today we're going to talk about one of the basic building blocks in technology which is the resistor, which is a word that most people, regardless of their education or knowledge on electronics, know as something that involves the electronics. So this right here is a power resistor. It's a fairly large resistor. I'm just using it as an example. This one right here is not really in any small piece of electronics, but you would find it as something in an HVAC system used for a heater strip or what we use it for our testing power supplies, motor controls, and generators. So a resistor is a part that resists. It lowers the current as it goes through it. So this is a fundamental building block in all use of electricity. Anything in electronics or any electrical apparatus has resistors. Early on in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, when you had tubes, space wasn't a problem. And you had resistors that look like this. This is a carbon wound resistor or carbon resistor. And it had a fairly large size because it didn't matter. When you have tubes, they're big. You know, you have transistors, they're big. So really resistance size wasn't that big of an issue in that arena. But in the 19 early 60s, when the first transistor radio, which you can see right here, came out, they had to deal with size differences. And that's when the technology started to change. This right here is an example of a resistor in this radio. So this size and, and relatively around it started getting smaller. And as things came out, stayed about the same for quite a while until finally, you have the computer era in the 1980s. Now the computer era, like this early board right here from the mid 80s, had resistors that look like this. And of course, they're trying to compartmentalize and shrink things in to be in computer cabinets that could work in people's houses with the early PCs. Well, that went for a while until the late 90s, early 2000s, when things really started to get small and you started to see surface mount resistors, an example being this. This resistor is a lot smaller as compared to the other ones, as you can see. And let's face it, they crammed them in there because they shrunk the whole project and the whole item. So this went for a little while and it started to speed up. So with the advent of the smartphone slash cell phone and everything really getting small, we finally ended up at this resistor size. So this, you need a lot of optical help to see, to work on, and you can drop it on the floor and you're never going to find it again. So this is the progression of 30 years of resistors shrinking. So thanks for watching this series. And of course, watch for the next one. And here at ERD, once again, we're repairing the world, one board, motor controller, and anything else electronics with resistors at a time.